Hi guys, so um, since yesterday a few things have happened. Uh, first of all I made a custom creation for soft, very soft rather. I got sick of trying and trying and trying and I really wanted to replicate the kind of bay that I had before but with a little bit more interesting. Um, I got the blanket leopard, um, the blanket appaloosa there, not leopard. Then what happened was... Um, so I decided to breed and I bred zombie dogs with, oh, oh, oh really no surprise, with um, Juice Comet here, who I have also leveled up to max as my um, racer, as, as I said I would. Um, then what happened was this. This happened. Wasn't expecting this, but this happened. Uh, I probably need to change the name. I may change the name, I might keep it, I don't know, but yeah, I was not expecting that. I didn't even record it because I wasn't expecting anything really, it was just like before I went to bed I did a little sneaky little breed and that happened. So now I have my um, Leopard Appaloosa. Um, his stats uh, that aren't like amazing but I did care for him anyway because, you know, he's good looking and I just kind of wanted to keep him so I might as well level him up and use him anyway but yeah, what was the surprise? Anyway, I have um, some babies waiting. Some babies waiting to be born. Three sets. Um, so, who should I start with? I'll start with Stretch Sheep, who I never did change the name yet. What have you got for me? Ooh, a little spotty one by the looks of it. To Philly. Level 10, skip to mare. Click bubble is your name. Okay, let's go for the next one. Ooh, is that gonna be black? Might be black or dark, dark bay. Not sure. So level ten, Philly. Okay, skip to map. Sure. Let's go with that name. <laughs> yeah, she's black. Oh, she's lovely black. Is that kind of? There's two types of black, and one is kind of. It's weird. One is like really, really shiny, and one is. The kind of bit more dull and this is that more dull colour. So and she's lovely, she's just got a little little white little white markings on like two feet, but apart from that she's just black. How sweet, okay. Is that all of them? Are we done? Oh no, we have one more. Ooh, is this another blanket appaloosa? And it's Level 9, oh my god, I'm going to pull my hair out. This this mare just refuses to give me her <laughs> markings in a... Oh, uh, whatever, let's give it to mare. I will keep trying with this mare to get her coat on a level 10 horse. Mega mischief, okay, mega mischief. You're very, very pretty. But I cannot keep you. You're the wrong level. So you will go bye bye straight away. Very sad. You're very, very, very pretty. I'd love to keep you, but I can't. Okay, so let's check out this batch. So we had Click Bubble, an intergalactic shroud, which is a bit of a mouthful. Um, Click Bubble looks really nice and cute. I may use these for a breeding set before I get rid of them. Um, mm -mm -mm. And once again I'm going to try with this Curtain Lemon. Now you are being a bit of a lemon, Curtain Lemon, because you are not giving me your coat on a level 10 horse. That's what I need. So, let me check my stud and breed you again, young lady, and you better give me a level 10 horse this time. Well, that'd be trouble. What am I doing? I'm so mad I can't even go in the right menu. Okay. <laughs> I 
a zombie dance. This is my new custom. I really like him. He's uh, another blanket. Um, yeah, let's use him with her. Let's see, right, you. There you are. Right. This time, you're going to give me your coat. On level ten, okay, curtain lemon. All right, I'm glad you're listening. Okay, I'll give you one last chance. All right. Okay, the next one. So, although I'm still, uh, well, I have got my hard surface racer now. She's the ginger one, comet. Um, I still would like to have a, another one that is hard with a different coat because I don't really, really really like the ginger, the chestnuts that much but I have grown a bit fond of her. She ended up having the best stats out of all of my horses at um, max so I will show you that as well but yeah she ended up being like some sort of ugly duckling where she was like the ugliest horse but had the best stats <laughs> and I've, I've grown a little bit fond of her in the end so I'm not going to be too hard on her. You know who I haven't tried oh let me just do moon no, I always breed moon warrior you know I'm gonna give someone else another go let's do this girl spring sunrise with my stud see what happens mind you that's a really nice bay let me just look at him oh no I refreshed oh never mind it wasn't meant to be or oh, whatever oh old peacock okay I can't believe I did that. Old peacock. Um, you have a lot of kind of like bald faces, and you know what? I don't mind a bald face. I kind of like them. So you know what? Let's give you a go. Hopefully, I'll get a level ten. Alright, the next mare to use. Stretch Sheep, Lollipop Thunder. Ooh, shall I try her? She's all black apart from two little white markings with um with my stud. Or I could try Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Whoop. Let's get her back. Clumsy fingered me. Okay. I'm gonna try with old peacock again, um, because what if we had her colour with the bald face? That would look kind of cool, I think. So you never know. We'll give it a go. So those are our next three holes in making. And lemon, I'm looking at you. You've been causing me trouble. You haven't given me a grade ten yet. So we'll see you when these guys are ready. Alright. Okie dokie, we're back. Uh, I did a bit of racing, I managed to get my money up, so I'm just going to skip these now. Um, let's leave you till last, Lemon. Um, let's start from this side. Intergalactic Shroud. <laughs> First. What have we got here? Ooh. I do like bait. And no, it's level 9. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. Donut drop. What a cute bay. I really like the traditional sort of colours of thoroughbred colours you know, that you see in real life. I would like a bay like that one day. Good stats. So it's another variation of her colour, a bit lighter, probably more like chestnutty. And it's a level 9, so we'll skip to map. Should really breed her with a level 10 horse. Get some level 10s with these kind of coats. Maybe I'll do that next time. So sell this one.
my my. Right, so let's have a look. We've got one more. It's the troublemaker woman. This one, okay, has never given me a tier 10 full with her coat is now going to be the time. I'm going to keep her till she does. Maybe that's why she's doing it. She doesn't want to be sold, so she's like giving me foals that are the wrong tier until, you know, I keep her forever. But no, I'm going to try. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's got the coat. First box is checked. Yes, it's a 10 and it's a filly. How cool is that? Stats are not great though, but that's okay. We're going to keep her as our new mare with that coat. Gorgeous. Marmalade computer. Uh, no, it's a bit long. There you go, stars to be. She's a keeper. She's a nice colour. What is that colour? I can't. Is it buckskin? I just don't know. Somebody will have to tell me what that is. It's, I don't know. It's not bay, I don't think. It is like a buckskin, isn't it? Um, right, so Star Thief, you're staying. Your mother, Lemon, it's been great knowing you. We've been through some, some good times and some bad times. But thank you very much for giving me a very sweet foal. I will look after her. Thank you very much. You can now go on to a new owner and have a good life wherever you go. Bye Lemon, bye 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 bye. Alright, so what did we end up with? We ended up with um, Star's Thief. Brilliant, keeping that. Love the coat. Gonna breed from her. Intergalactic Shroud. I don't really want to keep Inter Intergalactic Shroud because I have uh, Vixen. Chaos Vixen, and she is brilliant and gorgeous, and I love her. Um, and I also have this one, Water Rogue who is quite dark as well, um, but has a brilliant marking and I'd much rather keep that one. And look at those stats, brilliant stats too. So, likely to keep that one over Intergalactic and I should probably just sell Intergalactic now. Wait a minute, is this one a stallion or a mare? It's a mare. Okay, yeah, let's just sell Intergalactic. I don't hate to say why I don't need her. Um, let's get rid of her. Coming, bye bye. Um, and then click bubble. Let's have a look at click bubble. Um, not a coat that I really like very much, actually. Um, I do like the little spots. You can't really see them though, so I'm afraid I'm just gonna get rid of her. That is a shame. Um, what are they called? The bird catcher spots, I think. But yeah, with, I just don't like her coloration. I have a lot of light horses, so. If she was like darker and those spots were more visible, then probably I would keep her but um, as a breeder, but yeah, at this point it's, it's a no, so she's going to go on to a new owner. So that's the tidy up done. So we're left with Star's Thief out there, and I'm very, very happy. So, Zombie Dance. Obviously, giving her that kind of leopard, loosery kind of jean. With curtain lemon. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Great! So, let's um, set up the next batch of holes. So, we have zombie dance. And yeah, I was gonna I was gonna breed this, wasn't I? Spring Sunrise. I was gonna breed her with my stud, I said. Yeah, to get another see if we can get any variations on these coats going. What have you got? Is that a flea bitten? Handsome Empire? What is Let me have a look at him. Can I look at him? I can't look at him that well. I can't tell if it's like flea bitten or some sort of dapple. 
I would like Philippa in coloration. If I could get that in one of my bloodlines, would be great. Um, but I don't know if that is. This is one I used before, isn't it, with the bolt face? Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna reroll. This was interesting. Oh, it's level seven? No. My bad. Sorry. Look. Um. Oh, is that? That's. Oh my god. Yeah. Let's let's use this guy. Hey, handsome. Right. Um. You know what? I'm gonna do him with my other ginger. My chestnut girl. Where is she? Juice comet. see what happens. Last time I bred her with um, another chestnut, I believe I got a really nice one. So, yeah. Let's hope it happens again. Right, um, last stable, last chance. You know what, let's use our new ones. Stars Thief. Vital vacuum, okay. Yeah, I'm liking the sort of family. Yeah, okay, let's use him. Okay, that's our next batch set up. Stars Thief, Spring Sunrise, and Juice Comet. My girl, Juice Comet. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna show you her stats, didn't I? Um Look, uh, yeah. 26, 27, 226, 227, 227. Okay, so she's like literally my max potential horse with the best stats. See how that happened? And like, you know, oh, most people would have just got rid of her because of the colour, but sometimes, you know what? It doesn't matter what colour they are, man. It's about their potential. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I'm just gonna let that batch of foals simmer for a bit and I'll be back to reveal them. Hi everyone, so I'm back with the next batch all lined up. Now I have to admit there was a bit of a gap in real life between when I set these up and now and I did make the mistake because I did some racing earlier. I had Juice Comet set up for breeding and I was racing and I accidentally skipped her to a foal and she did produce Thunder Comet. Um, so I'm really sorry about that. Obviously I'm going to keep this one because I don't have these coat markings yet. But yeah, I'm really sorry that um, I accidentally did that. So what I did was I set her up uh, instantly again with another stud so we would still have three to look at. So I apologise for that. Um, let's just have a look at the new ones then. Let's start with her. What's she gonna give us this time? Oh, it's another little chestnut! And it's level 9, so we will not be keeping this little one, unfortunately. Banjo Ballerina, that's a cool name. Oh, she's like her mum. Yep, so she's gonna be sold straight away. Let's go to the next one. Ooh! Oh, I haven't got this coat yet! Oh no, it's level 9. Okay, so I'm going to keep this one for the coat and hopefully get a, a tier 10 from this one with this coat because um, I really like this coat. So I'm going to keep this one just for breeding and then hopefully upgrade the tier. Key Frost. Let's keep that name. 
Ooh, it's kind of like a bay. Is that a chestnut or a bay? Bay chestnut. <laughs> okay, so lot one left. Aww. Oh, it's got the bald face. Not the best stats. Aww. I really like his face though, isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm gonna skip him to Stallion. And I don't know, maybe I will just read from him to see what happens. Oh, he is level 10. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep him and maybe breed from him. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with this one, guys. Really not sure. But I'll keep him for now. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. My stalls are looking full. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do a purge at some point and figure out who I'm keeping, who's going, and who I'm going to be breeding. So, what I will do is, I have no stables left as you can see, so what I'm going to do is try and get a tier 10 from Keyfrost, so I'll set her up for breeding. Let me see which studs are there. So I have Zombie Dance at the moment. Key Frost, who are your parents, Key Frost? Okay, so I can't do that with zombie dance. That's fine. Maybe I'll just use a stud. Okay, who have we got? Winged style. Cockney warrior. That's a funny name. Let's see your family. Uh, it's pretty boring. Um, maybe I'll just re-roll. Oh, that's got pretty little socks. Cinematic cat. Now you've got a lot of black family members going on there. All nine. So maybe I'll try this one just to see what happens. Maybe I'll breed it. Oh, that coat on Key Frost is amazing. Only she was tier 10. Okay, so I'm going to try these two. Let's set up another one. Let's choose a mare first. Who do you think we should do? Hmm. Now, I really like Star's Thief. I'm gonna have to change my stud, I think. You know who, who. Oh, yeah, we should try Gothic Ice, I think. So there's no inbreeding going on. We'll get those two going. And then we have one more. Who should we choose? Ooh, we should do stretch sheep maybe. <gasps> Lollipop Thunder! We haven't tried her yet, I don't think. Well, let's do her. I think I like the look of this one. Let's, let's go with this. Alright, so those are our next three. Key Frost, Star Steve, Lollipop Thunder. And we will see what we come up with. So obviously in between those, I'm going to have to have a clear out. Um, I don't know who I'm going to keep but they're all looking kind of pretty, so it's going to be really hard. Oh dear. 
I am actually going to have to get rid of someone that I really like. That's a shame. But in order to create the perfect stable, we're going to have to do it. I will probably let the spring sunrise go. I've had her quite a long time though, but I really do prefer um, the coat on um, this new one, Thunder Comet. They're kind of similar colours. I'd love to get something darker. Anyway guys, we'll see what we come up with next time and I will see you then. Thanks, bye, take care. Thank you.